morning, everyone. To make smarter operational decisions and see what others can't, law enforcement and national security decision makers depend upon the expertise of crime and intelligence analysts. To better support the specific spatial analysis workflows of these analysts, Esri created the Crime Analysis Solution, a free add-in for ArcGIS Pro. This solution makes analysts more efficient and effective by making our flagship desktop software easier to learn and use. The solution puts into a single place the tools analysts most frequently use, as well as custom tools built specifically for law enforcement and national security workflows. Additionally, these tools are organized by the standard analytical process so that analysts can quickly use ArcGIS Pro to deliver new insights to the organization. As with all Esri solutions, the crime analysis solution is fully supported and will continue to be improved over time. Over 1,000 users have deployed version one of this solution in its first year. Our second release of the crime analysis solution has just come out, and while it has many new tools and features, our big focus was to provide better support for analysts who perform regular analysis of call detail records from cell phones. For those of you unfamiliar, analysis of cell phone records is typically done during an investigation. When an investigator seeks to prove that an individual was in the general area of a location of interest. Cell phone records help to prove this because when the target individual makes a call, uh, that call is serviced by the nearest cell tower and sector. Therefore, using the locations of the cell tower and sector where the call was received, investigators can demonstrate that an investigative target was at a certain place at a certain time. To use cell phone data, an investigator needs to subpoena call records of a target from a cell phone service provider like Verizon or AT&T. Investigators typically receive back two spreadsheets, one of the call records themselves and one about the locations where the cell towers and sectors are where those calls were received. Because call data has no inherent geography of its own, it needs to be associated to the cell tower and sector in which it occurred in order for analysts to map and perform spatial analysis on it. Creating a map of cell phone towers and sectors requires certain types of data. The latitude and longitude of the cell tower, and then data to describe each sector on the tower, including the sector azimuth, or the bearing from the north, the sig signal beam width of the sector, and the radial signal range of that sector. So with this information, we can render cell tower and cell sector locations. From there, the call detail record spreadsheet containing information about the date and the time of the call, who the caller was, the uh, phone number that was called, and how long that call lasted, uh, as well as the cell sector and site where that call was received, can be associated with those cell sector and cell tower layers in order to visualize the general location where that call occurred. Once the cell towers and sectors have been mapped, the call detail records and the call detail records associated to them, we can then perform a wide variety of analyses to uncover the spatial and temporal patterns that support the aims of the investigation. As I'm sure you can imagine, without specialized tools, all of this work can be extremely labor intensive and time consuming. And for many analysts, they do not have specialized tools and they, uh, they, they try to leverage a variety of kind of off the shelf products to do this and it can be extremely, extremely laborious for them. Fortunately, the crime analysis solution now offers a complete a uh, suite of tools to make this analysis easier to use and more effective. And let me just log into my laptop and show you how. So this is ArcGIS Pro, for those of you who are unfamiliar. Uh, and the ribbon along the top is the crime analysis solution. On the crime analysis ribbon, you'll notice a button that's called cell phone analysis. Here we'll find tools for data management that lets, let analysts take any uh, 
tower data from any carrier and uh, like things like this, like this spreadsheet containing the latitude and longitude of each cell tower, and then that data that we need to map the cell tower sectors, the azimuth, the beam width, and the radius. With this data and these tools, we can take spreadsheets and convert them into layers on a map. So here are the cell tower layers, and for each cell tower, the sectors of each of those cell towers. From there, we can take call detail records, like this example, containing all of the information about the call, the date and time when the call occurred, the length of the call, the subscriber and destination phone numbers, uh, and the switch, the site, and the sector where that, cell t that call was received. And we can take that data, associate it to those layers in order to be able to map exactly where those calls occurred. So getting the data on the map is the first step, but additionally, we've built several tools for the spatial analysis of cell phone data that analysts will find useful. First, for pattern of life analysis, analysts can use the incident sequence tool to take call detail record data from a target cell phone, like this, and visualize it, visualize those calls in the order in which they occurred, creating a sequence map that enables you to see how that target moved over space and time as evidenced through his call detail history. To in further improve the visualization of time in a sequence analysis like this, analysts can also create these call detail record sequences in 3D, where the height of the call represents the duration of time passed between each call. With 3D, it becomes easier to identify the time gaps or short bursts of activity uh, that are details about a target's pattern of life, which an investigator might like to know. This 3D visualization can be created using the Features to 3D by Time tool, and that tool can be applied to any point or polygon data to visualize time in a third dimension on a map. So if you're looking at this example and you're saying, hey, this is great, but I don't do cell phone analysis, uh, if you have an application where you might like to be able to visualize time as a Z value in a 3D environment to better understand the temporal patterns within your spatial data, you can use this tool. Analysts can also use our repeat call patterns tool to answer questions about where a target phone was when calling another phone of interest. In this example, we've mapped cell towers and sectors of call detail records from two separate phones. Using the repeat call patterns tool, we can quickly discover where each phone was when they called the other phone and understand the locations where each phone was most commonly at when calling the other phone. Now, depending upon the particular investigative question you're trying to ask, you can apply this tool not only in this example to cell tower locations and understand what tower both, uh, both phones were at, but you can also apply it to the sectors themselves. So depending upon which uh, type of geography you're using for your analysts, uh, for your analysis, you'll get a slightly different result. Lastly, a new tool called Space-Time Comparison enables you to examine the call detail records of two separate phones and search for calls that were made by both phones but not necessarily to each other, but that when calls were made, the phones were within a certain distance of one another and the calls were made within a certain time frame between, uh, from each other. So, in the example I'm gonna show right now, an investigator believes that phone A, in black, dropped off a drug shipment to a storage locker and made a call to notify an associate that the drop, drug drop-off was complete. Phone B, belonging to a separate target, went to the storage locker 30 minutes later, picked up the drugs, and called an associate from the, his car to confirm the pickup. Using the space-time comparison tool, the analyst searches for any records between these two phones where calls were made from both target phones and the phones were within 1,000 feet and 30 minutes of one another. 
running the tool reveals that there is one call from both phones that fit this pattern, thus confirming the investigative hypothesis and providing vital evidence for the case. Again, while this tool was built for cell phone analysis, it has a wide array of applications that are beyond cell phone analysis. So any kind of use case where you're looking uh, in, in data in two layers and you want to understand spatiotemporal proximity, you can apply this tool. So the, the cell phone, or excuse me, the, the crime analysis solution has application that's quite broad across public safety and national security analysis. When an analysis is finished, it can be shared as a hard copy map using a layout in ArcGIS Pro. This layout shows a map of the overall call pattern, as you can see, imagery of one cell tower, uh, sector and the suspect's residence, and a list of calls. And an, um, a map like this is suitable for printing or for sharing out as a PDF. Analyses can also be shared out of ArcGIS Pro as an animated video file, if that's appropriate for court, or increasingly as an interactive story map using ArcGIS Online or ArcGIS Enterprise. Here, I've used the new ArcGIS Story Maps app to create an interactive briefing telling the story of the investigation. As you can see, I can click on sectors and get information about the calls, and I can additionally click on locations relevant to the case, locations where burglaries occurred, where the suspect lived. And this interactive briefing helps make the analysis appropriate for audiences, juries, internal reviews, the public, by contextualizing it inside the larger case. In this example, a suspect was burglarizing houses to find specific items requested by his partner, a pawn shop owner, so that that pawn shop could resale, resell those items in the pawn shop. This cell phone analysis helps to prove that the suspect made calls in the exact area where each burglary was occurring. Uh, and in this way, we're able to use the science of where to see what others can't and to make visual sense of complicated data. So that's a quick look at some of the exciting new capabilities we've added to the crime analysis solution to help users perform analysis on cell phone records. Fortunately, getting started is really easy. Uh, the crime analysis solution for ArcGIS Pro is available today from solutions.arcgis.com, and it's included as part of the ArcGIS uh, Pro for Intelligence solution. In addition, on-maintenance users have access to a series of self-guided web courses available at training.esri.com to help analysts get started. Lastly, if you'd like to learn more, uh, please join me and some of my colleagues at the Law Enforcement Intelligence Breakout Session later this afternoon, where we'll be covering the crime analysis solution in greater depth. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.